that Mac that you just purchased? Is it frustrating you to no end because it's so slow? Is it simply not responding to those programs that you're opening up and trying to use over a period of time? If your computer is not responding, this is a very expensive lesson to learn. Let this serve as a warning to those who are on the verge of purchasing your first iMac or MacBook computer. My name is Brett and welcome to this channel. And for those who are new, please subscribe with us today. We're talking about wear and tear of your Mac computer over time and how you need to choose the best model that's for you. You may be excited about that base model Mac, but what I would encourage you to do is even before you purchase your new Mac, make sure that you're getting something that you can actually grow into. Number one, you've got to consider your CPU. How much power is coming from your CPU? And number two, it's got to be your RAM. You have to consider your RAM. I would say do not purchase a computer that has RAM any less than 16 gigs. Our baseline models, they normally start with 8 gigs. It's simply not enough. You're too slow. So let's take a look at some examples of some people who have complained about their slow Mac. Let's take a look at some of these posts. This one thread says, been working super hard on this, especially with a slow Mac. Can't wait to show you guys the final product. DeAndre says, I just got an iMac last year, but think I'm going to trade it in already for the new MacBook Air. It's just too slow. My advice to DeAndre is get you a MacBook Pro. Here's another tweet. I'm still trying to use Vapor Synth and Photoshop. Actually, I don't know Pot Player though. I have a MacBook, but the RAM isn't truly enough, so it's slow. I'm struggling too. And they were asking about a tutorial. Well, th this person realized that they didn't have enough RAM, so that's going to be an issue. Okay, finally, someone who knows what's really going on. I feel you, anything less than 32 gigs of RAM with an excellent CPU plus external GPU is slow for 3D work anyways. In that case, getting a MacBook Pro with a screen might be a good investment. They were maybe answering somebody's question about screens, but the new iMac can be solid if you get the higher configuration. He's talking about configuration, so he clearly knows. If you don't get anything else from this video, do not assume that just because it has the Apple logo on it, it's gonna work fine, there's gonna be no issues. You need to understand the specs that you're receiving once you purchase this Mac. Your Mac baseline model, it is not designed to run on CPU heavy programs. So when you purchase your computer, you wanna think long-term down the road, what is it I'm gonna need that I may need to grow into? Yes, this model is really nice. I really wanna purchase it. It's possible that I may be using programs further on in the future that might cause my computer to work just a little bit. You may decide in the future to purchase a software that pulls just a little bit more on your computer's processing, but you're stuck because of your current Mac's limited capacity. Ah! Oh, it is a terrible feeling. You're in the middle of creating something and your computer's slow, or you have to try to figure out what is causing my computer to be slow. That's the absolute last thing you want to have to deal with. As you're watching this video, you may say to me, I've researched the more expensive Macs well, I've got some options for you. If you can check out my previous videos on new versus used Macs, I've got some information as well as the other videos on my channel that will assure you that you can purchase a Mac that is actually used with enough research. The used Mac is going to be less expensive than those newer Macs. 